A veterinary uh, assistant is just a certificate um, program, so they don't actually get a degree. Whereas the veterinary technician, um, they do actually have to pass a national boards test, the VTNE. Luckily, we have the ability to have animals here where they can get used to it before they get on a clinic floor. It was really easy to get started with the admissions. Um, I just, I walked right upstairs and I got some information and. Um, I was back in probably two days doing my um, admissions uh, test. I would honestly just recommend um, signing up for classes and just starting as soon as you can. You learn so many things so fast that you just, you can get started as soon as possible. I was like, you know, follow my roots. My mom went to school for a veterinarian, so it's like in in me, everywhere I go, animals just flock to me. So I was like, maybe this is a good path for me. Now I'm here and we can do, we have hands-on, you know, we have the microscopes, we have the hemostats, we have, you know, we get to learn all the different machines and be with animals all day. And it's, it's pretty exciting. I've always liked animals. Uh, I actually straight out of high school, went to a four-year university, got a bachelor's degree in business and kind of worked several different jobs in that field before I found a job at a doggy daycare and realized that I wanted to work with animals. I originally did the assisting program and then decided to come back for the tech program so I would be certified. I like that it's more skilled than I originally thought it was going to be. I just thought it was going to be simple to work with animals and you know you get to hang out with them all day but it's much wider variety of skill set and I like that because I enjoy learning.